Well, hello there, ye faithful few, and welcome back to DMS Adventures, where even if it might croak, yeah, I'll tell a dad joke. So, hey guys, how did the drip ask the drop out on a date? What are you doing tonight? Eh? Eh? So yeah, today we are talking about water, more specifically water filters. But we have got the Hydro Blue VersaFlow and we are gonna set that up against the king of all water filters, the Sawyer Squeeze. Now originally I picked up the Hydro Blue VersaFlow because it was just cheaper and figured it did just as good a job. And just over the course of using it, thought maybe I wasn't right about that. So I picked up the Sawyer Squeeze as well. So we have used both of these water filters um, in multiple different situations and none of us have ever gotten sick from it. So they do their primary job, but we wanted to find out which one does it better. So there's some other things to take into account, and the primary one really is just flow rate. How quickly you can get the water through that filter, cleaned up, and be ready to cook with it, drink it, or whatever. So I'm gonna just run both of those filters through a couple tests and help you figure out which one might be best for you. So I picked up the Hydro Blue VersaFlow water filter on Amazon for about 25 bucks. And for that, you get the filter. You get two of these water bags. Uh, I got one here, but these are pretty, pretty cool. I like these in that they um, have a grommet here on the bottom and they have this area right here where you can just hook anything you need, a carabiner or whatever. Um, just kind of handy to have. Now, I typically don't even use um, these water bags. They're just kind of, I don't know. So typically what I use is the Knock Vecto water bag. This is our dirty bag, and so we'll scoop up our uh, water into this and then run it through the filter, typically into a smart water bottle. Now you also get um, a hose. You get a hose clamp and a bucket adapter so that you can do it like a gravity feed and just um, filter water down into a bucket. Now I don't use those ever so I don't have them with me right here. Then I picked up the Sawyer Squeeze. I just got this from Walmart about 30 bucks and for 30 bucks you get the filter. Again you get two water bags. This doesn't have any fanciness anywhere for hanging or anything like that. Um, just lids that come with it and that's about it. Again don't plan on using these. It also comes with a hose, a syringe for back flushing for cleaning it out, and adapter for sticking this hose on and being able to do a gravity drip, and one for the other side as well. So first let's go through how we typically use the VersaFlow. So the gray is your dirty water side. So we take our knock vecto, got the dirty water in there, this just screws onto the top of this. Now it seems that these threads aren't exact. This will still leak a little bit, but not too bad. Then we'll take our smart water bottle, just screw it in, and there you go. You just pull this down, push the water through, dripping right into there. So that's typically how we do it with the VersaFlow. Now with the Sawyer, at least as the pack comes from Walmart, we got issues with that. So here's your flow arrow. So the dirty water goes on this side, just the same as the VersaFlow. But then on this end, they give you like a sports cap. So you can just drink it straight through there. Now, I like to put it into the smart water bottle, but with the adapters that they gave, this one doesn't fit on, and this one fits on, but then doesn't fit 
I mean, it fits in there, but it's loose. There's no way to, uh, to attach that on. So I got on Amazon and just got this little coupler right here for eight bucks. So now this whole system is up to $38. And 13 more than the VersaFlow. So just get that on there. Then I can get my smart water bottle on. And I can do it the same way. Roll the water down, squeeze it through, right in. Now the thing you can do with the Sawyer that you can't do with the VersaFlow is you can get your dirty water into your smart water bottle and then just attach your Sawyer squeeze straight onto it and then just carry this in your in your uh, water pocket in your pack and just drink it straight through there. But in order for that to work, it's got to have pretty good flow rate. So let's check that out next. So there are two tests that we're going to do. One is the squeeze test and the second would just be a drip test or a gravity test. So this is the Hydro Blue VersaFlow on the squeeze test. Okay, that is that. We're just gonna go up to the top of the R here just so I have a measurable spot. That wasn't too bad. Okay, now for the Sawyer squeeze, squeeze test. And there it is. I don't know, I think that might've been pretty close. I'll have the timers up there though, just to see which one ends up being better. So next up is the gravity drip test. First up, the Hydro Blue VersaFlow. Okay, we'll call it when it starts dripping. But that came right up to the bottom of the S. Next up is the Sawyer Squeeze drip test. So it is currently just dripping. And sometimes there's an issue with, I think air needing to get into it. Okay, there it is. It is just dripping now. The water is out of the bag into the bottle. So hey, I think these are both great options. Um, they both do their job, they both filter the water well. Um, both look to be pretty similar in their flow rates. So again, this one was the Hydro Blue VersaFlow water filter. Got it for $25 on Amazon. And then this is the Sawyer Squeeze that I got from Walmart for $30. Uh, plus that extra little $8 piece that I got to just be able to do things the way I like to do them. So hey, thanks for tuning in today. I uh, hope this was helpful for somebody out there. Hey, you all have a great day. Mm -hmm.